The footage you are seeing is part of a major operation undertaken here at the Bowmanston pumping station as crews are investigating the current state of water levels here from this facility. To tell us a bit more about this operation and why this is so important for you at home is Hector Marshall, of course. He is an engineer with the Barbados Water Authority. So you had some members of your crew, Hector, go into the well to see exactly what is going on there. What are you learning? Well, from investigation by the crews who went into the well, it has been concluded that the water level in the well is very, very low. And this is because of the drought that we are experiencing. Our water levels have dropped in almost all of our wells in this St. John, St. Thomas area that supply these Bormiston and the Golden Ray systems. Also, down in St. Lucie, we also have um, a drop in water levels and the conductivity, the salinity in the water wells over there, they have gone up. So Lucy and those wells along her way to here. Yeah, I know we, that the teams are working uh, to get that system corrected by pumping uh, more than a million gallons into the Castle Grant system. Dealing specifically with, with what is happening here now at Bowmanston, who are the ones who will feel the effects of the problems with low water levels here? Those, those persons that mostly feel it are those persons in the high points of the Golden Ridge system, like uh, people in Gaw Hill, um, Church View, you know, even oh, as far as Colleton and uh, Colin Savannah, those people feel the impact of the lower reservoir level at Boomston. Greens as well? Greens also is on the Boomston distribution system. So as long as there's still some water in the reservoir, it, it will grab the feed down to Greens. Hmm. But, but if the water level in the reservoir is that low, we cannot use the booster pumps which we use to move water into the Golden Ridge system. So the Golden Ridge system is more impact than the Wormiston system. Okay. I see three pumps in operation here. Uh, what will you have to do now that the levels are so low? Well, here we have three submersible pumps in the well here at Wormiston. Two that move half million gallons per day and one that can move one million gallons. One of the half million gallons that pump, the suction point in that pump is above the water level in the stream mm. or in the well. So because of that suction level being above the water, we cannot use that pump to move water into the Bowmanstone Reservoir or to give us that half million gallon to move into the water rate system. So after the investigation just now, and we realized that if we can reduce the capacity of that pump to a quarter million, it will have a lower suction point on it and it will go into the water. Mm -hmm. Right, and then it will allow us to have a little bit more water to move into the reservoir. Okay. It's a quarter million, but at least it's some. A number of BWA officials are working on that quarter million uh, gallon pump as we speak. We want to go and show you a bit of a bit of what they're doing in uh, the workshop right now. Uh, how soon will you be able to get that quarter million gallon pump? Uh, changed out for the half million gallon pump that you have there. This this pump will be installed no later than Thursday. Okay, so this is what you're talking about right here. Correct. Um, no sir. Here we have what is, 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 is currently in the well a half million three fifty pump, and this is a quarter million three fifty pump. So this one will be taken out, and the quarter million will be installed. This is the suction point on the half on the half million, but the suction point on the quarter million is basically in this area. So this will go lower in the water. Okay. We expect that they're all the same lengths. All right. So a lot happening here at the Bowmanston pumping station. You just heard climate change and of course the drought being experienced right across the Caribbean, affecting those water levels in our reservoirs at, and at many of our pumping stations. We will continue to give you the updates right here on Water Wednesdays as we continue to work with Hector Marshall and his team and all Barbados Water Authority officials to view this episode or a previous episode again please visit our website www.barbadoswaterauthority.com you can go to our Facebook page for more updates as well or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube you can find us there